again. But let me cross over quickly now to my colleague Catherine Frimpoma. She's with the Majority Chief Whip and Member of Parliament for the Aswasi constituency in the Ashanti region, the Honorable Mohamed Mutaka Mubarak there. Catherine, if you can hear me, uh, just take over from there and what Mutaka Mubarak has been saying to you. Thank you very much, Alfred. We are still here uh, awaiting the arrival of the president. But I have with me the member of parliament for Aswasi constituency and the majority chief whip in the person of Honorable Muntaka Mohammed. Good morning. Yeah, good Happy morning. New Year. I the same to you. Yes. So we, as we await the arrival of the president, as you from majority side, you already know most of the things, you know the states already, but what do you expect to see uh, from the president today? Well, obviously, I see this, uh, the, the last state of the nation of address of His Excellency to be an inventory. Uh, it's like when you are going to a new house uh, or a new office, the rational thing that is normally done is that uh, you are shown around, <laughs> so you take the things that are in, so when you are leaving, you surely have to go around and then they will take what are, what are left. So I see it to be a pure inventory of his stewardship over the four years that he had the opportunity to serve this country. I expect him to come and be candid with us and be truthful with us to tell us the things that he's been able to do, uh, what is left, things that will have wished done, and then to wish all of us well because obviously as a country, we all pray that the country succeed because it's the only way all of us individually and collectively can feel comfortable and see that our country is making progress when we succeed. But we know that, uh, yes, a lot of things have happened, a lot of promises have been made and all that and all that. I know he may take the opportunity to mention some of them that uh, our opponents have used to manage to get us unseated. And for those of us who have remained, obviously, we will be holding them to check with what they promised the general people of Ghana. So very soon, in about 48 hours, you are going to be on the other side. Currently, you are the majority chief whip. So should we expect to see you as the minority chief whip in about 48 hours? Well, I will only say that you should pray for me because uh, that decision has not yet been taken. I'm hopeful that uh, having served that office, I want to believe that I did the best that I could. And uh, I am very expectant that the party leadership, in taking the decision, will find space for me. So all I will say is that I should pray for me, but I can't guarantee and tell anybody that tomorrow morning this time or 7th, I can't tentatively call myself the civil. No, we know that there are a lot of dynamics, there are a lot of issues. We need to look at it in a way that will strengthen our, our front and be able to strengthen ourselves, to bring ourselves together so that we're able to forge ahead as one group. You know our number is very small, so we are going to have a very tough time in the house because with 169 and then 106, I mean, they just need about 50 more and they can have to take. And that's really a tough battle for us. So we need, in, we need to coordinate our activities very well. And I want to build that the party leadership will be looking at our individual skills and our collective skills so that I don't know if we put this group on the front bench, they will be able to bring everybody on board and be able, even though they are few, be able to be properly representing the party in opposition. And this is a place that I have been there before. I first came to this as one we in opposition. So I know how life in opposition is. It's not going to be easy. We need to put a very good fight. We need to really be well organized. We need to be factual. We need to be punctual. We need, we need to do a lot of things, a lot of energy we need to go into it if we have to survive the next four years. Would you be surprised if your name doesn't come up in the leadership from your side? Well, I won't say surprised, Asa, but in the collective interest of the party, if the party decides that at this particular moment, to be able to forge ahead and protect all of us, this is the best team to do it. Why not? I mean, I'm a party person and I have to support the party in whichever way. People supported me to be whipped. If it comes that I have to support other people, why not? Because that's the essence of what we are doing. You support one person, you support a group today. Tomorrow, other people have to support others. And you, you, you were supported. Another time, you can also support. But it is my hope and prayer that 
I'm going to be returning on the front bench. Just before you go, let me quickly speak with the member for Pandai, Matthew Nyenda. Yes. Yes, you are in the minority now. What do you expect to see in the next parliament with yeah. you on the other side? That's okay. I think uh, what I expect to see from the majority side is to make sure that as a house, Ghanaians have entrusted their confidence in us. Like you rightly said, we are about 169 members of parliament, unprecedented. It has never happened before. This is the first time. So how do you think that will go in your favor in terms of decision making in the floor? Oh, we have to take decisions that will be in the best interest of Ghana, not just as a majority. Okay? Obviously, the house cannot be one-sided. We will have the minority. Obviously, we will listen to them. And as a majority, we will take a decision that will be in the interest of Ghana. But like you said, it's true. We have the numbers. But the fact that we have the numbers doesn't mean we should budo our way through, do things that are not going to be in the interest of Ghana. Obviously not. And the more we also, we also have the numbers, the, the problem we can also face is, is, is a double-edged sword. Because if you don't manage the numbers very well, it can give you problems. But I think that Ghanaians are expecting Nana Dudan Kwakufuado, the president elect, to perform. And we know very well that we've, we've given the most practical, implementable manifesto to Ghanaians. And they bought into it. They are expecting us. We will not disappoint them. It's early days yet. We will see what we can do. But we want to assure them we will deliver. That he thinks is likely to even move some people to tears. What do you think? Well, I. I don't know. Let's wait and see the test of His Excellency the President. One thing that I know is that the President has done his best. And, uh, well, the decision is for Ghanaians to decide whether your best was enough. Yes, there are a lot of things that we need to do and do better. I'm very hopeful that he'll be candid. And maybe in his being candid to us and telling us things that he thinks maybe he could have done better. Maybe it could move people to tears. But... I will want to wait and see the test of his decision before we can tell whether uh, it will be a very solemn one or not. Just a quick one. Already media reports are arrived as to who is going to be in the leadership from your side and some uh, disgruntled members, if I may say, here and there. Do you, don't you think that this is possible to bring some uh, in this unity among your, the minority fronts? Well, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, in any contest, any time there's a space, people will try to occupy it. And people will give one reason or the other why they should occupy it. But I, I believe in this party. We have done it before. I've been here. This is the fourth time that we'll be doing it. I know we'll get it right again and move ahead as one of the strongest groups. You know, others, even in majority, there have been a lot of division. We have moved from minority to majority still with solid front. I'm very hopeful as we move forward. We'll be moving forward as one people, unity, because all these things happened because there's some, there was some small delay. I'm sure by the end of today, tomorrow, all these things will be done. And I believe me, we are going to remain united and we are going to be a very formidable force. Thank you very much. And that was the majority chief Herb and member for Asumase. Honorable, so just before you go, who do you want to see in the, minor, uh, in the leadership from your side? Oh, my, my sister, I think uh, the party decides in some of these things. And I'm very sure with the numbers, very experienced hands, very capable hands, we'll be given an opportunity to lead us and we'll deliver. Yes. Thank you very much. Honorable Matthew Yendam, member for Pandai. We are still here in the chamber expecting the arrival of the president. Uh, honorable members are working in and we are also expecting to speak to some more members of the House, especially those in the leadership. But we just spoke to the majority chief herb and member for Asunwase constituency as well as the member for Pandai constituency in the person of Honorable Matthew uh, Yindam and Honorable Muntaka still expecting to speak with some more people as we await the arrival of the president.